Hey, seventh grade, how are you? I miss you guys. I hope everybody is doing well and you're slowly adjusting to this. I guess maybe you might be able to sleep in a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but I hope you're having fun and I miss you. So um, we do not have normal scheduled Zoom meetings like you have with the rest of your classes. So um, I'm going to, I'm doing this pre-recorded session. That way I can kind of explain better than I can in an email um, the directions that I want you to do for this next part of our class. Um, Mr. Love has asked music and art and PE to keep it light, keep it fun, no stress for you guys. So um, my plan is to assign you a lesson once a week like we do just like art class day and you'll have a whole week to do it. Um, please send me photos with either email me a picture and send it to me at um, blanchfield at olaparish.net or you could submit it on Google Classroom, which is even better. That's the preferred way. So if you can do that, that would be great. So for this week, yay, we are going to make Play-Doh. And you might think, uh, oh, Play-Doh, I'm not four years old, but I guarantee you, you get in a meeting of 300 adults and you put Play-Doh on the table, they're all gonna play with it. So hopefully you'll have fun with this. I I'm going to put the recipe up. You may have already seen it. The recipe has not a lot of things. Hopefully everything you have at home, but you just need flour and salt, water, lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, don't worry about it. Just skip that. Some vegetable oil. It can be coconut oil, Wesson, corn oil, olive oil. It doesn't matter. Um, if you have food color, cool. If not, you're going to get whitish tan um, food color. And if you want to scent it, some people have those little bottles of scented oils. You can scent it if you want to. Okay, so those are the things that you need, but the rest of the recipe is gonna be up online with the instructions. You do need to cook it. It's, it's barely cooked. When you're mixing it up, you'll see that it's really kind of powdery and it might be hard to mix. So for me, what I did was after I got a little bit mixed, I actually took it off the stove, turned off the stove, turned off the stove, turned it off and put it on, I put it on my counter. You better get permission before you put it on your counter at home. It does come off, it doesn't stick. It's pretty easy to clean up. And then I knead it around and mix it with my hands because it's just so much easier that way than with the spoon. And if you don't have your um, heat up really high, your Play-Doh won't be too hot. It'll be nice and warm and you can mix it up. And at the end, you will have a nice container of Play-Doh, which I'll show you in a second. So, um, I mentioned the ingredients. You just need some measuring cups. This is what I use. It's like a spatula spoon. You need a nonstick frying pan. If you don't have nonstick, that's okay too. Here's mine. Frying pan. Look at that. It's cooking with Blanchfield. You thought you were here for art, but it's cooking. Uh, measuring spoons in. I made peppermint play dough. So, because I have these little bottles of oil. So, I put peppermint oil in mine. And I put blue food color. So at the end, here is my Play-Doh. And the recipe gives you, um, the amounts in the recipe give you enough, use enough things so that your Play-Doh will be about this much. It's kind of like a really big orange. It's smaller than um, a grapefruit. Maybe about like the size of almost a softball, somewhere in there. Doesn't really matter, but that's what you're gonna get. So. What do you do with the Play-Doh when you're done? Okay, well, you play with it, you roll it around, don't get it on the rug, don't get it in the couch, um, don't get it in the blankets. My eyes don't really know where to look in this. I feel kind of funny. Anyway, play with it, share it with your younger siblings, or maybe share it with your parents. But here's an idea. You know how you all really like to play with your cell phones if you have them? You can make with a smaller piece of this Play-Doh. Um, you can go easy and you can just work the Play-Doh like this and make a kind of a bowl shape that's about the size of your phone. So here's my phone, about the size of your phone to kind of sit in. This is a little bit small, you might have to play. Um, but uh, when you lay your phone in there or you stand your phone in there, it actually becomes kind of an amplifier for your speakers. So if you're listening to music on your phone, and then you put it in your really cool homemade Play-Doh. Um, maybe you make a mouth. I don't know. 
um, you could make a funny face, like a scary, funny, goofy face with an open mouth. And then if your phone is laying on your desk like this, it amplifies the sound. So just a thought, but do whatever you want. Of course, you're going to want you to let your Play-Doh dry before you stick your phone in there. And um, you could put it out in the sun. You could let it dry overnight or for a couple of days, depending on how thick you make it. If your parents are okay with it and you didn't put something really stinky in here that they don't want to smell, you could put it on a cookie sheet and cook it a little bit, probably about 325, 325 degrees for a while. You got to watch it. I'm not sure how long. Um, if you have paints and you get this all the way dry, maybe you can paint it. I don't know. I didn't test it because it does have oil in it in the recipe. So you may not be able to have paint stick to it. So that is your assignment for the week. If you want to save this Play-Doh, it has salt and lemon juice in it, which helps it, um, helps preserve it. So it keeps it fresh longer. But I keep mine in a container with a lid like this. And if you keep it in the refrigerator, you can last, this will last for a couple of weeks, unless you get it all gross and icky, then throw it out and make some new stuff. But I hope that's fun for you. I hope that's relaxing. Take pictures of what you um, made. You can't submit that on Google Classroom because it's three-dimensional, but you can submit a photo, so I'd really like to see what you did. Have fun. Happy Play-Doh. Don't laugh. Everybody loves Play-Doh, even adults. See you later.